so what they want us to do for this problem is not to evaluate the sine of pi over 8 as u, but they want us to use the half angle formula. So the half angle formula states that sine of u divided by 2 equals plus or minus the radical of 1 minus cosine of u all divided by, uh, not u, 2. So therefore, what we're saying is, um, in this problem, we have u divided by 2 is equal to pi over 8. So I say pi over 8 is equal to u divided by 2. So therefore, if I need to find the value of u to plug it in for cosine, I need to multiply by 2 on both sides, and I get pi over 4 equals u. Therefore, now what I can do is I'll plug this in. So sine of pi over 8 equals plus or minus radical 1 minus the cosine of pi over 4 divided by 2. So now I think what I need to do is evaluate for what is the cosine of pi over 4. Well, we go ahead and look at this. Take a look at our unit circle. Remember, pi over 4 is going to give us somewhere there. Radical 2 over 2, comma, radical 2 over 2. Therefore, the cosine is going to be a positive radical 2 over 2. So let's rewrite this. Plus or minus radical 1 minus radical 2 over 2 all divided by 2. Now, to kind of simplify this jungle, right? this looks ugly, right? So to simplify this, what I'm going to want to do is get rid of this fraction, the square root of 2 over 2. So to do that, I can multiply by 2. But remember, to keep your fraction equivalent, you're going to have to multiply the top and the bottom. And since this is an expression here, I have to make sure I multiply everything times 2. So therefore, what I get is plus or minus radical 2 minus radical 2 all over 4. Then what I can do is, this is the square root of everything. I can take the square root of my denominator. So that's going to equal plus or minus. The square root of 4 is 2. So I'll have 1 half times 2 minus radical 2. And there you go. That's your answer. Find a half angle of sine of pi over 8.